Alright, hi people, Shakes here. I'm here to do a, an unboxing and review for you guys today of the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. Um, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if he has an actual name, but Mandalorian. From the Mandalorian. Funnily enough, I, I was gifted this by an internet friend. And... He, Funnily enough, uh, I got the first two seasons of The Mandalorian through the uh, the Disney like steelbooks that they've done for their Disney Plus shows. So, yeah, um, and I have not watched a single frame of The Mandalorian, so I have no context as to the characters or the storylines. So yeah, but here we go. You got the packaging right here. Star Wars The Black Series, the bottom, Star Wars The Mandalorian, 4 Plus, Hasbro, and some pretty cool artwork of the guy. You got the other side right here. I very much appreciated the old packaging uh, designs before they started going for their uh, paperless, or not paperless, uh, plastic free route on a lot of their stuff, uh, Hasbro, so yeah, then you got a description in the artwork again, but we're close up, number one, Star Wars The Mandalorian, and all that, so yeah, and I have not opened this yet, <laughs> yeah, I cut the tape, but probably because this has been sealed shut for several years. Well, couldn't get it open without ripping the box. Not that I was going to save the box, but yeah. And yeah, there's more of that. It's like, yeah, no. Or maybe I was supposed to open it from the top. I don't really know. Yeah, I probably was supposed to open it from the top. Whatever. I don't care. But yeah, we got basically everything, I guess, that you'd want. <sighs> Tape is plastic rather than cloth. I don't really think that they would do until later on in the line, because I do have a Luke Skywalker and an Obi-Wan Kenobi and Han Solo figures. I have three of those that have cloth, um, in a couple cases, robes, and then one, like, jacket, coat thing, um, versus plastic, which I actually appreciate more when they do cloth instead. But yeah, so... We got a little worrying figure right here. To take a look at his accessories, we got his, I guess, space gun, which just looks like a blaster rifle version of a regular pistol with an extended gun barrel. We got this, which I don't know what this weapon's called. Not too, too big into Star Wars, but yeah, I've seen... Most of the movies, at the very least. But yeah. But yeah, this is basically just a rifle. Um, I'm assuming a laser rifle. It's a little bit, little bit bent, I think, because of the packaging. And then it has a peg. Peg into his hand, I think. Or something. I don't know where it's supposed to peg into, but whatever. Then I guess a jet pack, which I guess you peg into his back because he has these pegs right here. Which I guess it was kind of smart keeping these separate. Okay, so yeah, you just peg those shits into his back. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. And here we have Mandalorian figure. Yeah, his design I'm pretty sure is just mainly based on like Boba Fett. But yeah, and they didn't want to just use Boba Fett, I guess. Although, right, they do have the show The Book of Boba Fett, so I don't know. But maybe they just wanted to do a new character altogether, which is fine. So, yeah, in terms of the details, looks pretty good. Um, but, again, I've never seen a frame of Mandalorian outside of, like, still shots or trailers or whatever, so... Not sure on all the details, but I'm just imagining them. they got a good amount of the details down. So yeah. So now we get to the articulation. Move his head in a 360, as well as a bit around. This is still like, uh, I think, yeah, this was one of the, I think this was one of the first figures of the line. So bit of poorly aged stuff that would be better done today, I think. So yeah, uh, shoulders. Almost 90 degree angle, single ball joint elbows instead of double ball joints, hands you can move in a 360 this way as well as I think back and forth, yeah. And then his torso, you can move back and forth, assuming he has more articulation if you take off the jetpack. Maybe not, because there's the, the strap, too, that goes into his belt. Maybe if you took the uh, strap off, but I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. Um, for his legs, almost nine. Pretty much 90 degree angle. Uh, looks like, yeah, double ball jointed knees, which is nice. And then his feet can go back and forth. Decent amount of looseness. It's funny, just after years of doing the, uh, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures where you don't know if it's going to be loose or very, very um, tight. Uh, it's just... Yeah, these are clearly made with a bit more care than those, but yeah. Then you can move his feet to the side and break the ankle. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's all the articulation he has. So, yeah. And he has a holster where you can put his uh, laser pistol and all that. So yeah, just based on the figure alone, looks pretty good. The articulation is still pretty good. Um, you can still get the figure for like 20 some dollars. Um, so yeah, just do that. Um, if you want to get the figure and you don't have it yet. So yeah, although maybe if they did a later re-release of this figure, um, maybe go with that. It depends on what you want and what's available. So yeah, so really don't have much else to say. So, link description on all my shit, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.